My name is Tal Rabin and I am a research staff member at IBM Research and I'm also the manager of the crypto team here. Um, we're in a very special building which is called TJ Watson Research Center in uh, Yorktown Heights. So I'm a researcher and I'm a theoretical cryptographer. It's math oriented my research. I sit in my office, I think. Um, I talk to other people, we discuss problems, and we try to solve them. My father is a cryptographer himself. I've had internet now f since 83, so that's uh, 34 years, uh, 31 years, sorry. My math is not that strong. <laughs> I, I try to develop um, frameworks to show how systems are secure, and how would you prove that they're secure, and to keep data known to some and not known um, to others. Everything that you do on the internet, when it's secured, uses cryptography. Breaches like the breaches that happen in Target are usually not on the cryptographic design. You have to make sure that people don't use weak passwords. You may need to make sure that they don't leave their laptops unattended. Many things. There are many human factors also that come into these systems. Modern day cryptography started fairly recently in 1976. So it's a relatively new area. Shortly after, there was an encryption scheme called RSA, which was developed and is still used today. It doesn't become stronger because we modify the encryption system, it's just because we expand the key. So I don't know what the lengths of the key were in uh, 1983 that people used, if they used them at all. But today, um, most people are using, for example, 1024, and they're talking about possibly doubling it to get the securities that are needed. So that's how we've um, increased the security of systems. 